What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another The City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video and welcome back to another versus slash story time video. This time it's going to be on X Dead's Lost Chapter Lafania Fight. Now before we do start like and subscribe if you haven't already because it does help the channel and I would really appreciate it if you do. Now without further ado, let's start this video. Alright, so as always, we'll start this off with the fight itself and the team that I went with. I managed to get um, x Deaths LD, so I went ahead and uh, used him here. Uh, I'll talk more about that in the story time, but uh, essentially if you have x Death here, you should be fine when it comes to the Lafinia orbs. You, basically, you just need something to do some brave damage during their turn. So, um, kind of like a poison or a sap or something like that. So, if you have uh, other characters that can do that uh, and you can meet that requirement, then go ahead and use it. I can't really remember on top of my head who can. I, I think Shantoto can. So, she's got some poison there. So, you know, uh, it's definitely something you can. Um, you know work around with it's not that hard to find a character i believe that has any poison or sap um but i just can't remember on top of my head um only shantoto really comes to mind because for some reason shantoto is so good <laughs> i never thought she'd be so good like to get used so much like uh, honestly didn't think that um, I would be using her quite a lot to be completely honest with you but Gentoto is another option instead of X death um, I managed to get Firion's burst as well while I was going for uh, X death's uh, EX actually so I ended up using him <laughs> and I'll tell you more about that again later on in this video but that's the only reason why I use Virion. Um, there's other options, obviously. I was thinking of actually using Beatrix at one point, um, just for the Bray battery and uh, you know a little bit of healing there as well with her buff. So um, yeah, there's definitely other options. You don't really need Virion here. I honestly wanted to bring Warrior of Light instead of Gladio, and you'll see why in later down the track in this video. I actually really messed up with Gladio, um, thinking that one of his abilities was not an AoE, so that was a big mistake because the enemies counter when they get broken. So that's essentially the gimmick here. Whenever they have that yellow aura, basically do not break them because they will counter they will destroy every single one of your buffs and will do an HP attack so um, it, it's a it's a bad strategy <laughs> basically um, if you have X death obviously you can gravity these um, bosses down and reduce their brave down to zero but the the issue is actually not breaking them so I made a mistake where I actually use X deaths and you know reduced their brave down to zero and yeah I accidentally broke them so yeah big mistake there but you know what uh, I have to live with it I did have to sort of use my summon in a very uh, I would say unoptimal <laughs> uh, time but uh, I, I live with it uh, and I still managed to beat it it's you know it's not that hard uh, the main issue is obviously brave shaving so with the brave shaving there are a few characters that obviously can reduce their brave with the gravity based attacks uh, you just have to be very careful with them uh, Ultimicia comes to mind and Bart as well and of course if you have Gilgamesh Gilgamesh has a uh, gravity excuse me gravity based ability as well so th there's a few options there the, the main issue with the others is they actually do some brave damage as well so you might accidentally actually break them uh, the, another character that comes to mind is Yuri uh, that has another gravity based attack so 
uh, they definitely can help. Um, otherwise, you know, you're not going to be brave. You know, I mean, you're not going to be brave shaving them off anytime soon because they're basically their defense go pretty high. Um, I think it's I do believe it's still possible to shave it down to a point where you won't get one hit KO. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's a bit of a risk if you ask me. Honestly, other than that, there's really nothing else to talk about this fight. It's just trying to avoid breaking the enemy with the yellow aura. Um, there is another sort of yellow aura that's like um, lines going up. <laughs> you don't have to worry too much about that. But the one with like, you know, like energy f overflowing uh, the boss is something to to worry about but yeah uh, I guess the other character oh I just remembered another character that can actually reduce brave which is Sephiroth Sephiroth can reduce their brave down to one with his EX um, was it one or zero can't remember but um, if you have his burst you can use that burst effect as well so if you have a friend Sephiroth that's gonna be very helpful as well. I end up didn't didn't use my friend unit here, um, which I picked as Amid Lion, but um, essentially the reason why I didn't use Amid Lion here is I did want to, the bosses to actually have a turn because that's how the orb counter is going to tick up. So um, yeah, uh, I can't believe I forgot about Sephiroth, but yeah, that's another way to brave shave. Just use Sephiroth. Uh, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this part of the video. Alright, so let's talk about story time. Story time today is how I managed to get uh, Furion's Burst and, well, I got, uh, you know, X Deaths LD. Let's talk about the LD first because that's the one I got first. So, honestly, I didn't have... A any of X Death's weapon except for his 15 CP. So I went out with over a hundred tickets. I went um, and then I managed to get his LD in the process. And then I couldn't get his EX for some reason. So I ended up using gems because like I said I was planning to pull on X Death anyway. I really like the idea of having someone that can brave shave like a lot you know um, the only thing that is that he can't break so uh, that was my issue with him in the past and right now I mean it's still kind of like an issue with me but it's not as big as it was so uh, I've learned to deal with not be being able to break enemies so um, yeah, I did plan to use uh, pull on XS, but I just didn't plan on actually using gems. It took me about oof, seven pulls, I think it was seven pulls to get his EX. Um, so I still have enough gems to pity the next global LD. So I should be fine on that. Uh, the plan was not to go overboard on pulling on this one. Uh, the next banner guy, I don't know if I really want to pull on him. I actually don't know anything about guy <laughs> in terms of a character, right? Um, it's one of those Final Fantasy games that I didn't finish and I don't think I and I remember him at all. So he, he doesn't have any sort of like nostalgia feeling to me or any, um, you know, any attachment so uh i don't know how i feel about pulling on him uh so i ended up going with x death anyway so yeah uh eventually though during the those tickets no not tickets during those multi pulls i did get furion's burst which i was like really <laughs> i got the burst before the ex and let me tell you, I, I got so much um, Gilgamesh EX, it wasn't even funny. Pretty much that was the only EX that I've kept getting. Uh, I think I got like 
before in the in the total time that I pulled with the tickets and the multis probably more I never got any of warrior lights um EX which I didn't mind I, I already got warrior light but I just can't believe I keep getting Gilgamesh EX uh, and I already maxed him out in terms of just you know limit breaking it I haven't EX plus it but you know yeah, so that's pretty much how I got it. Uh, I, um, I do apologize I didn't make a uh, pull video out of it because I honestly felt like I was just going to use tickets. And honestly, using tickets in global right now when it comes to pulling, <laughs> it takes so much time. Uh, basically, like doing like a 20 pull is almost like 10 minutes. So uh, I used to do it a lot, but I felt like the excitement without the silver orb is you know when they change the silver and you're like are you gonna change to the gold orb i felt like that was really nice before where i think i mentioned this in the past i i really like the silver orb um but now just you know it's either blue or gold i mean he, he, the blue orb can still change to a gold orb and can still change to a burst orb, but sometimes they just, you know, pop a LD. Um, just like, oh, okay. I don't know. It, 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 let me know down in the comments below if you feel like the excitement is sort of gone. And, and the excitement with the silver orb trying to change um, was uh, more exciting <laughs> than what it is now. Um, but anyway, I think I'll end the video right here guys Please do once again remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already because it does help the channel and I really would really appreciate it if you do um, And make sure to follow me on Twitter and on Facebook at Munchkins Gaming and leave down in the comments below which team you actually use for this one um, Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what you guys uh, use uh, Like I said, there are a few options for this particular Lavinia so be interested in who you guys pick uh, this is Munchkin logging off. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next level.